Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more actions with an X, doing the last episode for this first season of Tact Op Destiny. And I am sorry, this one is coming out a little bit late, uh, I think for our Patreon viewers, because we did not do our last stream on Sunday. We usually stream our episodes live on Twitch, and then, you know, the next week we'll up upload the episodes to YouTube and do our edits and make sure our Patreon stuff is out. However, we messed up, we were feeling a little sick, and so we didn't get some stuff done. However, now uh, we're trying to catch up and hopefully give you this great stuff. Also, you know, this is the end of the season. It's going to be wild. I'm super excited for it. This has been an amazing anime, honestly. And I think actually with the release dates and stuff, it basically did do its full season before the end of 2021. So it's still technically like a 2021 manga or anime. And it probably takes my number one spot. It was really had some like heavy emotional parts, great animation, great voice acting, great style. Everything about it just like spoke to me on top of the conceptual premise of it. Right. And the story premise of it. So I, I don't think there was a way I wasn't going to love this one. However, I think it went above and beyond even my expectations, which is really hard to do, especially with something like this, where I was like expecting a lot. And I gotta say, you know, maybe they just caught me on the right day, but I've been loving it. And I hope you did too. I'm excited and I hope they do another season because I feel like there's more story to be told. However, I totally could see them ending it on this episode and it really being a fully self-contained run and like tack dying or something, right? And Destiny dying or other stuff. With that said, we're going into it hot. Last episode, we had the whole thing with Grandmaster Sagan summoning the D2 crystals and destroying the main Symphonica in New York. And then the merging of heaven and hell to be Orpheus. Yeah, it got wild as fuck at the end there, bro. And I'm super excited to see it finish. I hope you are as well. Remember, support the original creators. I think it's Mappa and somebody else. They did so much good work. And if we want to see more like this, we have to put in the support by the merchandise, by the anime episodes, the DVDs, whatever comes out, the digital collections. And of course, subscribe to Crunchyroll and all the other places where you can watch it. If you like watching with us, check us out live on Twitch or on YouTube or on Patreon. We'll get all that information at the end of the video. I don't want to put it at the beginning because if you don't like this, then you don't care, right? So hopefully you like this. I know I'm going to have fun watching. Let's get into it. Also, we did the intro at the uh, start here. Which I still want to go see, because we, we actually never ended up doing intros for a lot of the shows we did. Mostly because, you know, it's about interest. Who wants to see it? Gosh, you look crazy. It's called Hope? Wait, what is that? What is that? They're harps? Are they harps? With missiles? They're mecha harps. With, they also have mach What is this? Whoa, those are interesting. And they're stronger than a regular beam. The hell? They move interestingly. Wait, little nanoparticles. Nanobombs. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Interesting noise there. The metal. I like... Oh, and she just regenerates like... What the fuck? How are they supposed to win this? I'm not gonna lie, this fight feels a little bit rushed. There must be something else coming later emotionally big. A lot of the fights are pretty quick in this, though. Like, they do not usually take very long. I, go, God damn, though, the animation. Damn! The noises, too. The, the sound effect. Oh? Yeah! Oh, kick to the face! Yeah! Oh, it's like gonna break. Isn't it? Oh, wait. She just has like a random field. Oh, nice distraction. Ooh! And blew those up. I'm still a little bit iffy on that. If that's a dub. <laughs> yeah, I was like, one, it shouldn't be that easy. This this character should be way stronger. That thing is so cool. Oh, that was weird. The noise, too. 
was interesting. Like, it was gooey and then sharp, like metal. Whoa, her hair. It's like... Whoa! That was a nice noise. Holy! What is this? Why does it sound weird? Is that just me? Oh, this is like in the past. What the hell? Is this in their memory? Damn, they're strong, though. What? Yeah, it's in the past. Why the noise? It's like the noise of an old film reel. Oh, they done for. Damn. They really put a lot in there that's like... It's enc encapsulating a lot of that feeling. Because I was very curious about it, but this part... Oh, wow, that's actually figuratively amazing right there. So he goes crazy right here, and this is where he eventually stabs his hand later, I think. So he builds everything around this. I don't know about all that. I think you... Oh, that is so cool. I saw how it went from fast moving to the actual pattern of the floor. Ah, there was a little bit sloppy. Oh, right through her. Did not matter, though, because... Yeah. I'm not going to lie, she's actually less scary than each of her individual forms. I mean, uh, powerful, yeah, but... Not, like, intimidating. Oh! The music is on point, though, for the series, though. I'm so sorry. I'm, like, just blown away. I don't know what's going to happen now. I will say it's probably not going to be the last episode, and he's probably not going to die because he just got an image upgrade. You got a power-up, probably. Ume! And your weird hair! Damn, that is actually a pretty dope blade, though. Look, it's actually done so well. Well, that's too damn bad. And here comes the homie. No, what? Really? Ah. Damn, son! Oh! What the fuck? Damn! Also, how is she so strong? I am... Oh! Damn! She is giving her these hands, boys! Yeah, he does. Really? What? What are they? I. There's got to be a difference. We knew she was stronger than most of the other music arts, but this seems unkempt. My comedy. Oh. Damn. I was expecting the gun, not the slow stab through the chest. I am so lost, and she turned into a statue, I guess, with no explanation. I am actually... Oh! <laughs> so, 
did he make himself one with the crystal so that when he died, like maybe he was really trying to be a hero because it is disappearing, but I don't know. I thought he was just batshit crazy, kind of like pain and suffering is the way kind of guy. I just noticed that the handle of that is a rose, isn't it? God damn, I'm dumb, boys. Oh no, he gonna die, isn't he? Somehow I have a feeling you won't, my friend. Damn. Bro, the emotions! And it's all due to the music! Like, I don't give a shit about this guy. I think he's an asshole. But if he dies right here, like, with this m music? Come on, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, twice. No, she's disappeared? What? Bro! I actually like her! What the fuck? The literal fuck! Bro! They both died. Fuck! I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the fact she was linked to him by life. Fuck! She gave him something. And then she was gone. No, bro, no. His hands back, and he's got a, and her. I don't know what that was from her, bro. Also, that looks amazing, but bro, I know I've said that like twelve times now, but bro, what the fuck? Good for you, girl. When he wakes up. She's a real one. So he's in a coma. Bro! What the fuck? That's the end of the first season? Wait, wait, wait. There's an after scene? Uh... Oh, thank you. Thank you, please. I've never watched the outro either. The intro or or the outro for this show, I haven't watched. I don't watch it ever, so it's... Okay, okay. Motherfuckers. They got me. I, I, I figured he was going down. I did not remember she... They were... In ex, you know, they were linked. Huh? Huh? Can... Is I was uh, is your video hawa? Where's the table to flip? I have so many questions. I also really want to know what the little text says in the corner under it. Vom Herzen Mojen weiter zu Herzen gehen. Right? I probably fucked up the pronounced pronunciation of that a lot, but Bro! What the fuck? What the actual fuck? I am so actually fucked up after that one. Bro, that one actually kind of blows me away. There's so much I have to say and want to say, but they blew me away. I was expecting one or two of the deaths. I didn't expect them both to die. Or obviously coma, death, kind of. It, obviously there's a lot of questions up in the air with that last scene. And like, is Ume gone or is she stored in the thing can come out? You know what I mean? It is anime. Are we getting another season? Is that the end of the series? I have so many questions. And uh, there were still things, right? Like, I don't feel like, I guess with the premise of some, there were certain things like, so she had said, like, I'm better at fighting one on one, right? I think that was her thing or like, I can f deal with fighting one on ones. So before it was because it was 2v2 or two, you know, like that it was tough. But I felt like it really wasn't the play to have her solo beat Orpheus with no help and like just win. Also, I have no clue what happened there. I get did Orpheus give up spiritually and turn to stone or same with Sagan. Like, I'm so lost. And that, there were dope parts too, like the stabbing through the chest. I like Tack. I mean, I don't like Tack. I think he's an asshole. I think he's it's one of those things where I, I'm too similar to him some ways. So I think he's an asshole because he's too much like me. No. But uh, actually, it's one of those ones where like I wasn't sad necessarily to see Tack die that much. A little bit because the, once again, the music and the emotion that the goes into it is so insanely different when you start doing that stuff. 
but also I, I find him so funny because he's so straightforward and like right like he doesn't give two shits what people think he's rude absolutely a jerk so it's very interesting the combo of those two things I, I will say once again the animation was on point music was outstanding this episode the tone the 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 way of the the movement goes and the overall composition of the soundtrack just oof, very nice it's very few times you get shows that are both visually and audibly well done it's not a lot of the time and the ones that are are usually very high up on people's lists they do well because they've got a lot of attention to detail and a lot of effort and love into them a lot of time and i think this is is a work of love maybe that's just me but i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed all the 12 episodes we've done obviously we're gonna have to pick a new series for next week slash two days from now because we're recording late once again sorry about that but i hope uh everybody's enjoyed it especially big shout out to our patrons who've been able to watch this up to a week ahead of time obviously but also to everyone watching on twitch when we do these live we didn't do this one live unfortunately because we were backed up on stuff however we usually do and you can catch us there on sundays where we uh we try to do those sometime in the morning and uh, if you can't catch them there you can always become a patron for as low as a dollar a month where you can get all of our old recordings um is including some patron exclusive stuff with no cuts on audio no cuts on video just everything bare up there and then me in the corner over chilling you know but thank you guys either way special shout out to the youtube community and to our discord community because without you we wouldn't have so many great days but i'm gonna have to catch you next time obviously it's gonna be on something else besides hacked up destiny but i do kind of want to get a second season we'll see how it's received how it goes through and hopefully get another one. But I'm Axel Grave, and I'll see you next time.